I remember being homeless at one point. I was at my buddy's house uh, trying to figure out what the fuck I was going to do with my life, right? And I was just living out of my car. I think I was working at Ross. I was working at Abercrombie & Fitch as one of the people working the front. And I was also working a drywalling job. Uh, so I was just doing all these different jobs. So you were working three jobs? Yeah. And you were homeless? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was the middle of summer in Inland Empire, so it was fucking hot. Yeah. I got a really bad car crash at one of these points because I just wasn't able to sleep. And I, I, I didn't do meth, which is, uh, you know, not common in Inland, Inland Empire. So, yeah. But anyway, so I was. Maybe my, that's where you went wrong. I, I think that is because I could have got this <laughs> done a lot better. You know, I you could have you could have worked so many more jobs. I could have. I could have. And I'm fucking up. That's where, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you learn lessons in life. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, um, I remember watching a movie called. Um, oh, what was it? Death Proof. It was a Quentin Tarantino movie. It was a uh, it was a um, a double feature they made. It was uh, Death Proof and another one about zombies, like the zombie movie. And I remember watching. It, and it was about uh, these uh, stunt women going out, renting a car, and this guy who was trying to kill him in another car. And it's like this car chase scene they have, and they end up killing the guy. And it was the first time I realized, I was like, wait, I can do that for a living. That sounds way better than anything else I was gonna do. So mm -hmm. I started kind of going on this fact fighting mission about how to be a stunt person. And I ended up going up to this school up in Washington that kind of just lit, like shows you all these different um, things you could do, like being a stunt person. They show you how to do little fights. They show you how to do high falls, fire burns, wire work, doing all these sorts of different things. So it doesn't it doesn't teach you how to do them. It just gives you the opportunity to do it like more than around five times on most of the things. So would you like specialize in one of those things? Now I can, but okay. like, it's like anything you do there, it's not you specialize. It's like, it's like, it's like going to a grocery store and then you get one of one piece of everything mm -hmm. and it's all stuff you've never done, never had before. So you get to try a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's just giving you the taste of it. And so giving you a taste of it and having some people around you be like, hey, when you go to L.A. or go to this place, go to this place is what you want to do. This is what, how you want to do it. Go try to get your stunt reel, get all these things together. So it's just giving you the ability to kind of have a stunt reel so you can show uh, stunt coordinators that you can kind of do whatever they're asking for, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that's the basics of what going up there was. But um, I got a DUI before I went up there. And so I came back down. I lived in the Empire, couldn't really go and do stunts. So I ended up getting in a band, was in a band for a couple of years, moved to Santa Barbara, ended up becoming a cook. And then I was dating this girl for a while. And she's like, why are you in Santa Barbara? Why aren't you in LA? And I was like, that's a good question. I don't have a DUI anymore. I can go to LA. So went down here, uh, got a job at Universal Studios doing the fire burns there. Um, but I had to leave my job as a head chef in the kitchen. And so leaving that and then going and doing uh, work at Universal Studios is like the, the money wasn't even close mm -hmm. because uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but theme park stunt people get paid fucking garbage. Hmm. Okay. So like at Universal, I do a fire burn, a rappel out of the 30 foot rafter straight into the crowd. And then I do a fight scene. Mm -hmm. A the, fire burn, I'm assuming, is like when you're. I'm all. I'm completely on fire. Okay. So whole body's on fire. Um, if you go to Universal and you see that they, well, it's not there anymore, but there was a thing called the special effects stage, mm -hmm. and that's where I, that's where I worked. And so we'd come down from the rafter, rappel down, and like just pretty much let go of the rope and just drop straight there, and then stop right above people's heads. Then you walk on the stage. Wait, how do you? There must be like a safety mechanism that stops you before you hit them, right? Your hand. Yeah. So wait, if you don't grab it, you're going to like collapse into this crowd of people? No, no, you're going into the aisleway, but the aisleway is like mm, this big, so you have to, you drop right in the middle of them. How do you know when to stop yourself? Yeah, that's why we get paid those uh, shitty dollars. But like, <laughs> I mean, it's so what you're using is you're uh you're on the on the line and you have a uh, a safety 8 or a uh, no, a speed 8. I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's basically just like this uh little 8 p uh, piece of 8 metal. It looks like it, it looks like an eight like that. And you wrap the rope in through, hook it up to your uh, harness, and then you your braking is your uh, backhand. So that's right in your ass crack. And you just literally, that's how you slow down. But in order to make it like go fast, you pretty much let it go like that. And then you stop it as soon as you get to a spot where you need to. Mm -hmm. And you're wearing a glove because otherwise you just rip yeah, your hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's how you do it. So you slide down, go right there. Oh, everyone's like, oh my God, I didn't know they were out there. And then you <laughs> come down, I'm like, ha, ha, ha. and then you go on the stage and they did a little talking. And then we start a fight scene. So if I was doing the number two role, I'm the guy who's winning the fight. So I go in the middle. These two guys fight me. I get thrown around the stage a bunch. I kick a guy into a trash can. Um, and then once we get through the whole fight scene, I run back behind stage. I start prepping myself to get lit on fire. 
And so, yeah, do the whole that, come back on stage, and I literally be completely on fire about this close to you. Yeah. And so, but in order to do all that, that's just one show. You usually do four a day, and you're getting paid. I can't remember how much it was. 32 bucks a show. Fuck off. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, it's because there's no there's no union for the stunts people in the in the because it's too small. It's like in, there's in not, the theme in park, theme parks, yeah. But in movies there are. Oh yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Okay. There's there's where yeah. And so it's like but in actors in um and Universal or any of the theme parks, they have Agva or Aqua, something like that. But mm-hmm. they have that. Um but even go farther into that, like I also did uh if you've gone to Universal and seen the Raptors, like in those guys in the Raptor outfits. You never seen that? I haven't been to so, Universal in there's forever. Big ass raptor outfits that you get into. They're like 98 pounds and all the weights on your shoulder and your hips, and you're walking around these things inside of them. Oh. And it's just like styrofoam. And so the middle of summer, it's so hot in these oh, things God. that you're about to pass out. I used to have videos on my phone inside this thing. I'm just like <sighs> just chomping around. <laughs> and and the only reason it was a 20-minute set, and the only reason we gotta go in sooner was because of um Akva, Akva, I think it's Akva, but either way, they, uh, the, the actors who were going out with us, it was too hot for them. So we got to go in 10 minutes earlier instead of 20 minutes because of the, because of them. But as some people, we did, you don't have rights. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it was, uh, it's a whole, and I, but I don't, I, I'm, I love doing it. I don't, not the, not the Raptor shoot. That thing fucked up my hips, my back. I was, <laughs> this is awesome, yeah. like you, you, the first time you might have met me was when I was in those suits all the time. Cause mm-hmm. it just hurts so fucking bad. But, um, like, so basically the, if you go to Universal Studios and you see the guy in the Raptor suits, why don't you tuck a little like 20 into their well, dinosaur I'm, thong? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.